Hello. Hello, hello everyone. Zojin here with another art video. So I think you can tell more Avengers Justice League mashup, you know, because Soul Burner said you want to see some more. And yeah, here's some more. Taking a break from the Bowsette, but of course, more Bowsette art will be coming soon but you know it's nice to draw some more comic book art and also you can i think you can tell at first glance there's definitely like a level of effort disparity between the first ones and the later ones so obviously the first ones is uh a reskin of my previous general america which was based on the hulk so why wouldn't i make you know the, the like the hulk mashup yeah and then the second one is like more unique pose but it kind of looks really bad i don't know just we'll see in later but then the third one i think it looks super amazing but obviously i think you can tell i had to trace it so yeah most of the i mean the the trident and the hook hand hook arm and the hair is my own design but everything else is like traced so it, if it looks amazing that's because i traced it <laughs> yeah so yeah so here's the first one <coughs> the incredible zombie because you know so yeah i don't know if you've seen the dc justice league cartoon before but yeah in that one they have <coughs> solomon grundy and he's huge he's muscular he's strong and he's even voiced by the hulk voice actor so yeah i i don't know if they were intentionally making a hope ripoff but it, i mean it looks kind of freaking obvious he's super strong and he's got he, he even has the hulk voice actor you know from the marvel cartoons at the at the time that they're airing you know <clears throat> yeah i'm pretty sure about that um you'll have to correct me if i'm wrong but i'm almost positive solomon grundy is voiced by the hulk same character same actor who voices the hulk like the voice actor who voices the hulk he's done it in like like so many shows now like movies cartoons like i i don't know if he does it for the video games but definitely a lot of the cartoons he voices the hulk even though like all, all the other actors all the other characters they'll be switching the voice actor every series but no the hulk is really consistent yeah so I'm so maybe it's like some Mandela effect, some bad memories forming. So, but I'm pretty sure Solomon Grundy was also voiced by the Hulk. I think his name is Fred Tascone. I don't. I probably butchered his name, but it's definitely Fred some T something. Hopefully, I didn't butcher his name that bad. But yeah. So, <clears throat> so this is the combination of Hulk and Solomon Grundy, even though. You know, the General Eiling, General Wade Eiling, the Shaggy Man, that's actually more closer to the Hulk, you know, in terms of like super strong and stuff. Like Solomon Grundy, like in the comic books, I think he's supposed to be just like regular human size, like maybe a little bit bigger, not that much stronger. He was in Smallville for like, for like one episode or something, and he was just a regular human. I mean, he came back as a zombie, but he didn't, he didn't grow like 50 feet like the Hulk does, you know. Maybe not 50 feet. That's a that's probably inaccurate. But definitely, like you know, he like Hulk is humongous. Solomon Grundy is humongous in the cartoons. And just a little more tidbit, you know, because like Marvel has the Defenders, the like Doctor Strange, Silver Surfer, the Hulk, and I think Namor or someone else. But like, yeah, it's like it's like oh, they do magic stuff, you know. That's the original Defenders, not the Netflix bootleg of Defenders. There's a bunch of street level heroes and stuff. The real, not the real, but the original Defenders, as far as I can remember, they fought magical threats and stuff like that, like that. So it was like a magical Avengers kind of theme. <clears throat> Even though none of them had magic except for Doctor Strange, but yeah, they fought magical uh, enemies. <laughs> anyway, and then so look, like in the Justice League cartoon, the unlimited one, they ended up doing something similar where they had like a, ma a magical team up. Where they had um, Solomon Grundy as their Hulk, and then they had uh, Doctor Fate as their Doctor Strange, and probably like two other heroes, you know, and stuff like that. I think they had Wonder Woman in it. I definitely remember there's a woman in there, and she like kind of like had a maybe not a love interest, but like had like a fling with Solomon Grundy. It, like it was like hinted, like they kind of liked each other and stuff, or like when, yeah. 
something like that but yeah so they had like their own magical team up and they had solomon grundy kind of similar to the marvel magical team up with the hulk anyway so yeah anyway so obviously the hulk has gamma radiation and the the solomon grundy is a zombie so the power sets the, the how to get the powers are completely different the origin story is completely different i think i rambled long enough about that but yeah so here's my incredible zombie the, you know because he's a zombie and also the, like the incredible hulk i don't know how to work solomon grundy's name into it i know the marvel dc version it's just called skulk and that just sounds weird <clears throat> i mean I, it's obvious like like the s for solomon grundy and Oak is for Hulk, and I don't know where that coke the K came from. Skulk, like uh, I guess if they just called him Sulk, it would sound really weird, right? It's like oh, he's sulking, like he's all sad and stuff. But anyway, so yeah, so here's my incredible zombie. You can see the zombie parts. You know, he's missing a toe. He's missing some flesh over here. You can see the bone and the flesh. Missing. Oh, someone took a. Wait, no, he didn't. They didn't take a bite. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> He's a zombie. He's missing part of his flesh. You know, maybe that's nobody but bite bit him. But you know, like during battle, parts like parts of his pants and his flesh like got ripped out or something, and he didn't heal. You know, he's not invincible. I don't know if that means he'll eventually deteriorate into a skeleton and die. But I don't know. Maybe he has very slow regeneration. Because <clears throat> Hope has super fast regeneration super ultra powerful regeneration kind of similar to the wolverine i don't know about solomon grundy though <clears throat> i don't even know his original power set i know in the cartoons he's like super strong and stuff like similar to hulk but yeah anyway so yeah more flesh over here more flesh and then some flesh and his rib cage wait no that's not the wait is rib cage up to your chest yeah it is right i hope so i think so but anyway so so the pants it could be I mean, both of them have, like, the pants that's, like... I think uh, Solomon Grundy, his clothes are not ripped. Because <coughs> he's not as he's not as big. So he his clothes don't get ripped to shreds. <coughs> but, like, the ripping part is based on, obviously, the Hulk. Because his shorts get ripped. I mean, it's not even shorts. It's pants. His regular pants. But then when he transforms, like, the leg part rips off. Gets torn off. So, yeah. So the pants is technically based on the Hulk. And then this jacket over here, because uh, Solomon Grundy, he actually wears a shirt. He wears pants, shirt, and a jacket. And then the jacket will sometimes be like wrist length, elbow length, arm length, shoulder length. So yeah, I just went with the shoulder length a little bit easier. And it's torn just like Hulk pants. So it's a combination of Solomon Grundy and Hulk, you know. And also Hulk is bare chested solomon grundy has a shirt so i just said you know what if i put on the shirt then he'll look too much like solomon grundy so i don't want i want to have some you know that's why i gave him the bare arms and the bare chest yeah and the haircut is is um closer to solomon grundy's haircut i mean yeah yeah that's what i'm saying solomon hair grundy's haircut so yeah this is a mix mash of hulk and solomon grundy features I mean, this color scheme is the Hulk one, very obviously, because the green skin and the purple clothes. I don't know what kind of color shirt he would have, but if I want it, yeah. So I just made it purple, because he has purple pants. <coughs> and here's the Solomon Grundy. Here's the Solomon Grundy color scheme. So, yeah, the same thing. He has gray skin, really pale, bluish gray skin. And then he has black pants, black uh, jacket and then I forgot what color his shirt is but it doesn't matter because I don't have it so yeah and he has white hair so yeah everything else the same just uh, reskin and off yeah recolor skin yeah so obviously so so the backstory of this fictional amagam universe you know so this nuclear radiation gamma radiation scientist he gets cancer and then he dies he's dead or yeah he's dead and then his wife is so distraught and depressed she brings her i mean oh my god she brings her she brings him his corpse to a uh voodoo doctor i'm guessing it's gonna be like if i ever draw it brother voodoo and dr fate 
you know, the more, you know, and then the more, you know, obvious one would be Doctor Strange and Doctor Fate. But if I want to tie in with the Incredible Zombie, I could turn it into Brother Voodoo and Doctor Fate. <laughs> so magical voodoo and stuff. I mean, yeah, anyway, <laughs> there's no rules to this. Anyway, so yeah, and then he brings her him back, you know, the nuclear gamma radiation scientist, but with the caveat he's now a zombie yeah that's why his flesh is falling off and stuff and but he's super strong and powerful so yeah i guess the dr voodoo fate will help him like help him repair and stuff like heal the f broken flesh and stuff yeah so this is mid battle chunks of his flesh is gone next up it's the purple arrow which only makes sense for the purple uh, for the Hawkeye's color scheme because he's actually purple but once you switch it to the green arrow color scheme he's no longer purple the name doesn't make any sense but it's kind of like the white witch scarlet witch as a tana amagam it only makes sense when you have c certain colors on it uh, yeah <coughs> oh my god excuse me so yeah so this is um this is a book this was based based on uh, um, a, a green arrow pose. So this one, I I did use a reference image for the posing, but I didn't trace it because I I try to do it by by hand by eye, and yeah. So um, the outfit it's kind of a mix mash of both green arrow and Hawkeye. So the boots is from Hawkeye. And I believe the outfit is from Green Arrow, and then the mask is from Hawkeye. The beard and the mustache is from uh, <clears throat> Green Arrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, the beard looks really weird. I guess because the way they drew the picture, the, the style they drew the face in, it looks fine. But the way I draw it, it looks really weird. I mean, it even looks weird on that picture, but he they have like a really angular face, so it looks a little bit better. Yeah. So yeah, he's holding the bow and arrow and shooting this arrow, which is actually from um, Hawkeye. I mean, not Hawkeye. Hawkeye uses like regular arrows. I think Green Arrow uses a lot of gimmick arrows. Although in the pictures, I see Hawkeye only using regular arrows. Arrows, but I know from Earth Hero, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, he always used these gimmick arrows. And same thing in Avengers Assemble. So I guess this arrow could technically be used by Green Arrow or Hawkeye. So yeah. It's technological, Techno technological, yeah. <clears throat> so Hawkeye, he's usually purple with some blue in his color scheme, so that's why I went with this. He actually has an H over there, but you know, I just decided to make it an arrowhead, so that's, so it fits in with the name, you know, Purple Arrow, yeah. So here's the green arrow color scheme. Which is just all green, what but different shades of green, obviously, and yeah, the hair color. So actually, Hawkeye and uh, Hawkeye and Green Arrow have the same. You know, they both have blonde hair, but the difference is Hawkeye it says the Marvel Wiki says he has blue eyes, and DC Wiki says uh, I was about to say Clint Barton, Oliver Queen has green eyes. So yeah, they have the same hair color. Interesting enough, and. I haven't really thought about the backstory for this. Just the guy that's super good at archery. Maybe he's super rich. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just do it because, you know, they're both archers. You know, I wasn't thinking too much about the backstory. So this was just a lazy, I guess, very obvious mashup. You know, the two archers of the Justice League and Avengers, yo. And bam, here's the most epic looking one because I had to trace it and that's why it looks so amazing, you know. Here's Aqua Moraner, which is obviously a combination of Aquaman and Namor the Submariner. So yeah, it's like the even the name is a mashup, you know, Aqua and Su Submariner. It doesn't have Namor in it, but yeah. Aqua Moraner, I believe that's actually also the name of the DC Marvel DC Amagam of Aquaman and Namor. <clears throat> so yeah, so this is a trace of Namor, and then I added some Aquaman features, and also it's like different ver versions, I think. Yeah, so the orange, I mean the shirt and the pants, 
Well, every all every version of Aquaman wears pants, and Namor sometimes wear pants. Some the original one, he's just wearing speedos. Yeah, and um, oh yeah, so this this here, the shoes over here is obviously based on Namor, but the pants it could be either way, and the gloves is based on Aquaman because Namor he doesn't have gloves; he just has like a bangle over there, and then yeah. He, he has the gloves of Aquaman and then the trident is completely made up. It's just, I mean, not completely made up. It's based on the Poseidon trident, you know, because I'm thinking this one, I mean, it's, there's, I mean, they're from Atlantis. So like Atlantis is Greek associated with Greek mythology. So let me get a Greek mythological trident. So yeah, both Aquaman and Namor have these fancy looking tridents. And I was like, hell no, I'm not drawing that. So I just went with this rather simple Poseidon trident I think it looked out look turned out pretty good if you ask me yeah but I'm asking you <laughs> okay I, I'm noticing now it's a little thin over here but uh, I mean sometimes it gets thicker and sometimes it gets thinner but it's really thick uh, at the base so definitely it's way too thin over here and then here it's like a little thin and thick like it's this this fire is fine but it looks really thin over here com especially compared to the base over there yeah, so the trident probably could have used some more work, make it a little thicker. And then this hook hand, um, it's based on the later appearance of Aquaman where he has, where he's not, he's no longer wearing the shirt. He's still wearing the pants, but he has like an armor strap or something. He has gray armor, which is why I gave him the gray armor because, you know, because normally Aquaman has orange and green. That's his color, sc color scheme That's and gold. So, yeah. And later on, he had he discarded the orange, and then he had the gray armor instead. So, so it's a mix match. This is the armor, so I the vest. So I just gave made that gray, and yeah, it's the later version. He has a hook hand, and that print design is pretty much based on it. I mean, I didn't. I mean, yeah, I just did my best to repli replicate it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. And yeah, this scale vest armor shoulder pads, that's from the Namor design, lifted it directly from it. So yeah, Aquaman's shirt's supposed to be scaled, but I was like, oh god, like it took me forever to draw this. I, I think that's okay. That's enough scales for now. And I also added some gills, which neither Namor or Aquaman have, so that I just added myself. And here he has Namor's ear. And then the beard and the long hair, that's based on, like, again, the later version of Aquaman. Yeah, so I took elements of, like, the early and the late Aquaman designs. Aquaman. Did I say Aquaman? Aquaman. So, yeah, he got, he got the mustache and the beard and the long hair, which is also similar to what the Aquaman is using in the DC Universe movie. And finally having the orange and green classic costume, finally, what took them so long? That should have been the initial costume. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it. So here's the belt. So this is Namor's belt, but then I modified it. Uh, instead of having trident or having an A, I mean the regular A that Aquaman has, I used, I did my best to draw the a Greek alpha symbol, the Greek A. So yeah, it looks kind of like that. I probably butchered it, but that's my best attempt. So it kind of looks like regular lowercase a. It's the other letters that look more different, but yeah. Yeah, so this is the Aquaman color screen. It's color sc uh, scheme, the blonde hair, blue eyes, the orange, green, and gray. Bam! Here's the Namor color scheme. He looks kind of like evil. I, I don't know. I guess that's weird, like having... You know, I mean, yeah, that's kind of racist, you know, black evil, you know, but like, yeah, a lot of fantasy sci-fi and stuff usually go all black. It's like, it's like, it's more evil, like black ops and stuff like stealth, like it's shady and like, yeah, <coughs> dark, darkness, dark colors and stuff like that. But yeah, he does look like he, I mean, he looks like an evil twin of this guy, basically. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I changed it up because uh, Namor, his original costume is actually just, yeah, like I said, the Speedo and the belt. He has a green Speedo and uh, or, uh, gr uh, gold belt, but the later ones, he's wearing black and gold. So yeah, sometimes there's a splash of green. So I decided, you know, make the shirt green to have some hint of his original green colors. And then the rest of his clothes is just black, 
like his more modern design and then the gold remains the same yeah got a gold trim around the shoulder pads it looks nice and of course he has black hair and his eyes is is, is the wiki says it's bluish gray so i made it a little yeah so the blue i made it more grayish tone not a super bright blue yeah I really liked how this turned out honestly I mean this actually looks pretty cool I mean yes yeah, it's, it's like a stealth version of the aqua marina yeah or evil twin brother you know that's kind of messed up yeah <coughs> and also yeah I, I did my best to copy the muscle tones this arm I, I feel like it looks really good this one it looks a really a bit weird I get that you know this arm it's facing up and then this arm is facing down so it's obviously it's not gonna look the same but I don't know the muscles look weird it looks off I mean I did my best to replicate it uh, based on the picture and yeah it does this arm does not look as good as that arm I guess I'm because I'm more used to looking at arms like that you know yeah I actually added this line into it they didn't have it and I, I thought it would look better with this line so I'm happy with the result I'm not happy with this arm, but whatever. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully everyone enjoyed watching this video. I know you probably didn't make it this far because you know it's super long and I'm rambling about random stuff. You know, but yeah, really you do appreciate it if you did. So yeah, definitely like I said, more about that art pictures, you know, since it's Halloween. I mean not Halloween, it's October, you know, everyone's doing like uh, Halloween scary stuff theme stuff so the next bowsette pictures you made it this far i'll tell you they're <coughs> oh my god they're gonna be based on the horror movies well not really horror but you know the like terminator alien predator they're, they originally started out as horror now they're just straight up action but yeah they're gonna be alien predator terminator bowsette meme art video yeah so thank you for watching until next time look forward to that yeah Next week. Bye-bye.